Wow, computer science, until this day, I have nightmares. I cannot sleep whenever I talk about this class, and tonight is not going to be any different. You know, let's go on a journey back in time. When I was in college, I was a mechanical engineering student, and although I may have nightmares, here's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to look back and think of the hardest classes that I encountered in my engineering journey. From freshman year all the way until I was a senior when I graduated back in 2012. Amazing. It's almost a decade ago. Crazy. So I'm not sharing this to scare you. I'm not sharing this to intimidate you because the classes that I encountered to be difficult, it doesn't mean that it will be difficult for you. There is some freaks out there that are just that good in math, that good in other subjects. So it's really going to depend on you whether or not you find these classes difficult, but I thought I want to share it with you. The tools that I use to overcome all of the different classes, all the difficult classes, because you will encounter many of those in your engineering journey, and that's going to be regardless of which engineering field you get into. So, without further ado, let's talk about my freshman year. My freshman year, the first class that I encountered to be very difficult, and you guys may already know this if you've been following me for a bit, and that is computer science. Wow, computer science, until this day, I have nightmares. I cannot sleep whenever I talk about this class, and tonight is not going to be any different because computer science almost made me... <laughs> Always made me drop out of college. I'm just kidding. But computer science did make me change my major. That was the original major that I picked. And as you guys may already know, that's a class that I just did not like. And it made me reconsider my future. And thank goodness I reconsidered and made another, deci another decision because that's when I picked mechanical engineering. Now, the second class that I remember giving me a lot of trouble and giving me a lot of difficulty and a struggle when I was in engineering school was Calculus 1. Now, I did make a video in the past explaining Calculus 1 and 2 were actually one of the reasons why people leave engineering, which was course difficulty. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one out there that finds calculus to be difficult. It was just one of those very, very difficult classes that I had trouble adapting to because you go from a straight lines to curves and that my brain didn't really do that well with that change. Now let's transition to my second year. The second year of engineering school, the first class that I found difficult was dynamics and I really didn't do that well. Imagine having four tests. Out of all those four tests, the professor would drop the lowest grade and then average the top three scores. And then I only had to get 210 points and think that after three tests, I only had 108 points. So I really, really started hard for the final and I got a 98 and with a little bit of curve from the professor because the class didn't do too hot in that final, I was able to pass dynamics with a C. Enough of dynamics. Let's jump on my third year, which out of all my years in engineering was the hardest junior year. That's when you start dealing with a lot of new concepts and start applying all the basics that you learn in, the, in your first two years. The first class that I found very, very challenging was thermodynamics. But bear with me because I know that in general terms, thermodynamics is pretty simple. It's all energy, right? It's an energy balance. However, when you start applying it to different systems, when you start taking it to turbines, you start talking about engines, and you start talking about ranking cycle, and you start talking about many different things. I had a lot of trouble understanding but enough of thermodynamics because i'm getting a headache and the last class that i want to mention here in my junior year is electrical circuits electrical theory and i know that my fellow electrical engineers out there might be laughing at me talking about this but i swear that electrical engineering classes were one of those that would just i, I i'm just so grateful that we had a lab grade because if it all came down to theory Oh my goodness. And now we're going to be talking about a senior year. And believe it or not, my senior year wasn't really that hard. It was busy, but it really, really wasn't that hard because it was mainly about the applications of the things that we'd already learned in the first three years. So senior year was kind of a, you could say maybe it was kind of like a victory lap. So what did I do? What did I do to overcome all of these classes because I mean I had to do something right after the first year you figured I already developed some type of a system or a set of a steps that would help me overcome the difficult classes because I knew my first year that that wasn't gonna be the only time I faced hard classes I'm gonna sum up all the different steps that I took and four tips here and the first one is going to be don't do it alone and ask for help get a group of study buddies or even if you are doing things online I would suggest that you do an online group where you can kind of talk about your answers bounce ideas off of each other 
and never reject an opportunity when you can teach something because when you can teach a concept i think that that's when you learn the most the second tip that i have here for you in this video is to use the solution manual for the homework now i know that some people may frown upon using the solutions manuals but when you go to the solutions manual don't just copy the answers but actually understand every step of the process the third tip that i'm going to give you here is use the learning tools that you have available for example my favorite tool was using classrooms or using huge whiteboards or blackboards that allow me to kind of lay out all the difficult exercises or difficult homework problems or studying for tests and just writing everything on a huge wall when you put out all your thoughts and you start working out the problems that's really going to help you gain another perspective because when you keep everything in your head or when it's I don't know what it is but when I used to do everything on the wall in a huge piece of paper and sometimes with other friends and explaining things to each other that was a lot more helpful than studying on my own on a little piece of paper so I highly suggest you use that tool and the last tip that I have for you here in this video is to do the homework over and over and doing the homework really helped me memorize, not only memorize, but also understand certain processes that I may forget with a variety of other different classes that I was taking. Not only that, but I wouldn't also just do the homework. I would also do additional exercises to the homework, which all of those things really allow me and help me understand concepts better and also remember a lot of relationships, like I said, that I could have forgotten when dealing with all the other classes that I had going on. Anyway, guys, so that's all the tips that I have for you in this video and all the memories. <laughs> It was nice to go back in memory lane and I remember all those difficult classes. I remember a lot of really good stories there back in college. It was a lot of fun. I'm sure you're not having too much fun right now if you are dealing with a lot of those classes that I just talked about. But it's all a learning process. I mean, the more you overcome those difficult classes, the tougher you become. And then things in life when it comes to your engineering career will just engineering problems per se will just get just a little bit easier and you'll be more resilient. All right, so with all that being said, guys, I just wanted to share these tips with you and share with you, see if you also relate to all of the difficult classes that I had to deal with in the past. So if you relate, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, also, you know, just leave it in the comments below. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you find it useful. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.